My name is Pratik Nayak. I am based out of Houston, Texas. My clients are people like Dixie Dixon, um, Joy Lawrence, Jeremy Coward, and a few other commercial companies as well. I think Sandro's work is elusive and very versatile. He's able to capture emotion like no one's done before. I mean, the stories you hear about him and the work that you see speaks for itself and there's a reason why he's so iconic. I think the defining moment for me as a retoucher was um, a few years ago, I finally won an award for Retoucher of the Year by Framed Network. And what happened was they had nominated a bunch of retouchers that I considered my idol. And at the end, I found out that I was nominated as the winner. And I think that moment in my head solidified the fact that I was probably meant for this industry. So in this tutorial, we're gonna be covering a lot of techniques that involve um, color grading, compositing, bringing a concept to life. And essentially that's the end goal, is having an image that you shoot, being able to take that and put it somewhere else, regardless of subject, and then piece it all together step by step from raw processing to the end result. I think my favorite part about this tutorial is the fact that we get to see an image that was taken in a foreign country, in Papua New Guinea, brought back in the studio and executed to match the photographer's vision from start to finish, including compositing and color grading. When you talk about topics like how to extract hair, there's multiple ways of going about it. There's a pen tool, there's channels, and ultimately we want to find the best techniques to be able to isolate the two. So we're going to talk about not only the techniques used in extracting hair, but also how to shoot it in a way that helps you extract it easier. The cool thing about this tutorial is the fact that you're not only watching me work, you're going to get to work as well. You're going to get the files so you can follow along and do everything I'm doing. I think the relationship between a photographer and a good retoucher is almost like dating. You have to be compatible on many levels in terms of communication, your vision, and the end goal. And if you don't have those elements together and you're not in line, then the relationship really can't go forward. If I had a tutorial like this when I started out, I would have made a lot more progress with my workflow and stopped wasting time trying to figure out what's happening and get down to business.